In this video, we'll discuss setting file and folder security in Windows Vista. If you're sharing a file or folder with other users on your computer or on a network, you may want to give those users a limited permission to make changes to the file. Note that you must be logged in as an administrator to change permissions. Windows Vista makes it easy to set file and folder permissions. Here's how. Click the Start button, and then click Windows Explorer. Right-click on the file or folder, and then click Properties in the menu. In the Properties menu, click the Security tab. The permissions for the selected group or username appears in the bottom half of the window. A group is denoted by an icon with a pair of people, and an individual user is denoted by an icon with one person. You can change permissions by clicking the Edit button. Select the group or username with the permissions you want to change. The permissions for the administrator's group is to allow full control of the folder, which is denoted by the gray checkbox in the Allow column. If you want to deny one or more permissions, click one of the checkboxes in the Deny column. If you click the Deny checkbox for full control, then the administrator's group will not be able to access the folder. Conversely, if you click the Allow button for full control, then the administrator's group will gain full access to the folder. The same is true for files. For now, discard your changes by clicking the Cancel button, and then click the OK button to close the Properties window.